And now I'd like to introduce my fellow Driehaus Prize juror, Paul Goldberger. Thank you, Adele. There are many reasons that the Richard H. Driehaus Prize is unusual in the field of architecture. Perhaps the most famous reason, the fact that it contains a larger monetary award than any other prize, is actually the least important of the many things that distinguish this prize. Although I suppose the recipients could be forgiven if they think otherwise. <laughs> but for the rest of us in this room, what marks this prize is not the extraordinarily generous amount of the check that Richard Driehaus has written, but the remarkable generosity of thought behind it. The ideas of civilized urbanism underlying the prize and the process by which the winners are chosen. The prize is administered, as you know, by the University of Notre Dame School of Architecture, an institution that under Dean Michael Lacoutis has managed the remarkable trick of simultaneously being broad-minded and deeply committed to tradition. The prize is notable also for its jury process, in which a distinguished jury selects the winners not by gathering in some random conference room or by some kind of email process, but rather by traveling together to a city of great architectural significance, exploring it together, and only then beginning to discuss the nominees, taking the city's urban fabric as a backdrop, you might say, for its deliberations. Two years ago, the jury met in Paris. Last year, in Prague, two very different cities that each offered different lessons in the ongoing meaning of traditional architecture and urbanism in our time. This fall, the jury is scheduled to travel to Buenos Aires, where a different kind of urban fabric will create yet another context for its deliberations. Now, I should point out here that by traveling around the world, the jury is not in the slightest seeking a winner whose work relates to that city or in any way literally resembles the architecture of that city. 